All right, so we've got our solar panels on, and I do have a four-in-one connector. So I've got all four panels connected into two lines, and they're running under this panel here. And now I need to run uh, cables from there back to here so I can get them through the roof. And uh, well, let me show you what I plan on doing. All right, now, most people, when they're uh, running their solar, through the uh, top of the van, they use the entry gland, which has a couple holes in it and our little uh, bulkhead fittings. And your cables run through there and then this mounts onto the roof of the van. We're not gonna use that. What I plan on doing is running my cables back and we're gonna go through the top of this rear light and uh, rear rear view camera assembly and uh, so we're gonna have to take that off so we can get the wires through there so we're gonna need a couple of tools uh, we're gonna need a, a hammer gonna need a, a rock gonna need the a, a blowtorch and uh, we're going to need an empty can of beer. J just kidding. It's going to be a full can of beer. Well, let's get started. so to remove this housing there are two screws that we have to take out now I know that people have had trouble with these the older uh, the older pro masters and I've heard several of the newer ones that when they go to take these screws out that the nut inside also spins the nut is encased in a piece of plastic so if you uh, turn this slowly that bolt has a chance to also or that nut has a chance to spin so what you want to do is put your screwdriver in there and you want to break it in other words you want to you want to twist this thing like like a snap and then once you do that you'll hear it snap and I've already had this off but you just want to give it a quick jerk of a turn and that will free it up from the nut inside and then you're able to slowly turn these out so we'll go ahead and remove these and then we'll take a look inside all right now that our screws are out this just slides right off like so and we could just let that hang down <clears throat> and there's just two wires this one here goes to the brake light which has a clip on it, which we can remove if we need to. Then your rear view camera, which is held on by a couple of screws that we can take off if we wanna take this down. This is the unit that's bolted to the frame and our wiring, when we put our wiring on, we will probably, we'll probably put our fittings, maybe one on each side or probably just side by side here and then we'll run our wires through and our wires will go through this is a piece of rubber right here that goes into the van so we'll be able to run our solar cables through that through our little uh, bulkhead fittings and then we can put everything back together so i'm going to take this down because i want to drill a couple of nice clean holes in here and uh, then we'll get everything put back together okay so with our rear light housing off, I basically uh, took our gland, set up here, and just kind of eyeballed the center for my holes, about the same distance apart as the gland. So I've got two marks right here. And what we're gonna do is drill two, and I think they're about three quarter inch holes, big enough for our bulkhead fittings to slip through. And so those will be mounted just like that. And then uh, we can run our cables through there, get them to the inside, and then we can reinstall that 
and then run our rest of our wires through. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for that and put those fittings in and uh, hopefully it works out <laughs> or we go to plan B. So I'm going to use a step bit and uh, well here we go. That's about what I need. Let's test fit this thing. Just a little bit larger. Let's see how far in I am. Yep. Right there. Perfect. All right, so that's the first one. Let's go ahead and get that second one drilled. fits as well perfect so now it, these bulkhead fittings do have a rubber gasket so we want to make sure that those are on there we can set that in place install the nut on the inside for both of them And it'll look something similar to that. All right, so now I'm just gonna uh, grab some pliers, reef those down a little bit, make sure that they're nice and snug. They don't have to be uh, too tight. And uh, in the event, if these do leak, the cool thing about these housing is right below the rear view camera is a hole right here. It's a weep hole. So if any water got inside, it just drains right out under the cat uh, under the uh, camera so no holes in the van and we can run our solar cables through okay so i have my cables run through the inside here and they just drop down right here and then we're going to run that across and down through the pillar and then we'll come out down to our controller and i reconnected my backup light and the rear camera so now it's just a matter of putting this back in place and then fastening the screws so let me go ahead and get that back on and uh, tighten things down all right so we've got all of our cable run so we have our four dirty solar panels up here we got all our cables run runs under this panel, comes down, runs along the rack rail here, and right along here, and into our bulkhead fittings, which are all tightened down. And then those just run onto the inside up in here, and then go along and down our pillar, and comes out here somewhere at the bottom. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to bring these out. I might bring them out right down here. Controller's going to go right here. And I need a, a fuse uh, for the solar panel on and off. So we need to get that tightened, tied in. So I think the next step is to install the controller and get the wires run to the battery to the controller. And then we'll worry about the fuses and try to see if this thing lights up. But the sun's going down, so it might be the next day. Anyway, that's where we're at. So, nice easy install. And uh, if it wasn't for that white wire tie, barely noticeable. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so we've got our solar panels hooked up, and I've got my two ends here, and I've got my leads for my tester. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, hook these up. Oops. Hang on. Hang on. Technical difficulties. All right. Negative on and the positive. And we are running at 20.1 volts and the sun is setting in the west. So it's probably up there about 20 degrees. So it's not overhead and uh, solar panels work. Excelente. Okay. And let's see, is there anything else on here I need to see? Nope. Cool. Good test. All right, just a little short video <clears throat> showing you how I run my cables into the van. Uh, without having to drill any more holes in the top and using adhesive or uh, tapping screws or anything like that to seal that gland, which I didn't want to have to worry about. Had enough headaches with the fans, uh, thinking, you know, big deal. But anyway, two holes is enough on top of the van. All right, so I've got the cables in. The next step is to install the uh, controller in and get it wired into the battery and hope everything works. I know I've got power coming in from the solar panel, so that's good. And uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the controller I have is a Renogy. <laughs> and we know uh, what kind of problems I have with Renogy equipment. The inverter is bad, and I'm hoping that the, uh, the controller works with these batteries. If not, well, I'm going to have to fork out some more money for another controller. But we'll worry about that later. So... All right, well, thanks for sticking it out, and I hope you found uh, useful on how to uh, run your wires in. Uh, pretty simple and uh, stress-free. If there's any leaks, water's going to come out in the bottom of that weep hole anyway. All right, until next time, stay tuned.